Once again, per the use, I'm ready to go and dressed and rocking on the porch and he's still naked. Still waiting y'all. I've moved to the car now. Literally still waiting on this man. All right, I finally got ready. And, the and we were finally uh, leaving now and heading. Uh, so now we're headed to the store and hopefully the- In what food. town, my love? Oh, I, you know I can't say. So the closest town to us at the Cabanas is Maha Hawel. Um, and it's like 45 minutes, it's not close. Yeah. Um, but we need some personables. And yeah. now that we've been here a few days, we've kind of figured out what we can have and what we yeah. can't, and also um, what we need and what we don't. Yes. Like we bought some natural sun spray and um, bug spray. And yeah, it's Which not. we know better. We're from yes, Arkansas. we know it does. But work. we are at an eco place, and so we were trying to abide yes. by the rules and such. But then today they were like, oh, mm, my it's a detail. Yeah, pretty <laughs> because much. Because the last last night uh, was really, really bad. Yeah. This morning we decided to go for a run. And we went down this like dirt road that's yeah. past our cabanas down the coastal road, which is lovely. Yeah. But it runs through like mangrove territory. And when we came back, our host told us that um, the last time a girl went running out there, she was accosted by a crocodile. It didn't bite her. It just like you know, came at her, hissed at her. Yeah, hissed at her. Um, so yes, and then he proceeded to tell us that last time he went for a ride out there on his motorbike, there was a giant boa constrictor draped across the road. So apparently, we could have been eaten twice this morning. Yes. And never would have known. No, not really. We were on guard because we know there's jackals oh, yeah. in the area. So oh. We, we made. found some kind of store. So our host told us about this store and it's kind of like, it's almost a stock room and a store all at the same time. And they kind of have things for a really good price. Okay, so got right. our fruit and veg. Yes. The little lady in there was, um, she did not want to be on our camera. So we're always respectful of that. So we didn't film in there, but. We just got a whole thing of bananas. Four apples? Yes. An onion. An onion. A cucumber. Cucumber. Is that it? I think so. For $2. And that's why we love Mexico. We just drove down this road and went to this hotel to get some pesos. So there's an ATM in the lobby. Yeah. And I thought they might give us a little trouble about coming and using the ATM so we're not the guests here. Yeah. There's nobody this here. This place is a ghost town. Yeah, there's nobody here. To be perfectly honest, we knew pretty much nothing about Mexico before we came here. Except there are neighbors down south and mm, pretty infamous for narcotics running and some people say it's quite dangerous mm -hmm. but we also knew that Quintana Roo was sort of like outside of that and a pretty popular place for people to just go to the beach um and also we don't usually believe what people say about places we just like to go see it for ourselves because sometimes people get a bad rap and it's unjustified so we thought, what the heck, let's give it a shot. And so we came and honestly, we've not left Quintana Roo, but we have ventured out of the normal beach towns and resort and we haven't stepped foot on a resort. That's just not our kind of thing. Except every once in a while for a night of good sleep and a hot shower. But so far, the people are the best. The food's amazing. So that's pretty cheap as long as you stay out of the resort town and well the only problem we've had is man-sized potholes 
Watch out for the man-sized balls. Good morning. good morning, lost ones. Welcome back to paradise. Yes. So, had a good night's sleep. Met some new people last night yeah. that came to stay here in our little cabanas. Yeah. Um, they are some van lifers. They're staying down in the campground's name is Danny and Emily. And today we're going to take a little excursion with yeah. them. We're going to the nearby fishing village called Ishkalak. Um, they're supposed to be, it's a very small village, not really a tourist place, yeah. but there's supposed to be a good little restaurant and a jewelry maker and a place to go scuba and snorkeling yeah. called Posa, which means the well. And it's basically where the reef here that runs all the way down the coastline of the Yucatan here splits into two reefs and in between them there's like a big deep V well that's okay. supposed to be really good for diving. Yeah. So cool. it was suggested to us by our host here and so we're gonna go check it yeah. out. Once again he's taking forever to get ready to go. He's been through every piece of snorkel equipment six times. Why are you happy? Happy puppy. <laughs> Dude, this place is awesome. Yeah. Super sleepy, quiet little place. It is a little stinky, but not too bad. Sargassum. Mm -hmm. Awesome. The Vishkalak is a pretty sleepy little place. It's just a little fishing village. As you can see, there's some super cute stuff along the shore. We're going to go check out, see if we can find somewhere to eat. Brian is going to today. He says, quote, he feels tingly. So, we're going to go out and see if we can find him something to eat. So we think this place is called Sylvia's. Um, we found it on the Overlander app. It's super cute and it has good reviews for lunch. So we're going to see if we can get us something good to eat. She hooked you guys up. Those look amazing. What's going on? What are we doing? Um, I guess this guy has the boat. Yeah, this guy. So, yeah, so she's gonna go find him right now. Looks like she's going for her car. All right, so Sylvia at the restaurant told us that a man named Nato has a boat and he is the one that can like take us out snorkeling and such. So we've come out in the boonies to try to find Nato's house, which the neighbor directed us around the corner to find. We have not found Nato, but we totally found his wife and now she's like going to find him. So <laughs> this is like a little bit of an odyssey to find the snorkeling man. So Danny's epic Spanish skills are coming in super handy today. You're gonna put a little bait and switch on me, right? Yeah, yeah like, oh, seriously. Yeah, 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 that's a great price. And then he's like, oh, whoa, well, it's really sunny out. I was like, I thought that was your boat. <laughs> he's like, no, my boat's that one. Oh, wow. This is the green one over there. Okay. So now we're looking for another man who has a boat that has sunshade. Because <laughs> the first man told us he doesn't want to go out there for that long with no shade. <laughs> so now we're looking for a second man who has a boat with sunshade. So it really is turning into an odyssey. Round two of negotiations have begun. Emily and I are just hanging out in the van. We'll let the boys handle it. Yeah, yeah, he looks very serious. We think we're dealing with a lady this time and I think she might be a, like a hardballer. She looks really, really official. Like she's got on some like official Indiana Jones clothing. And um, yeah, she looks like she's pretty legit. It's gonna be a little more, it's just gonna be 1,600. Oh, great. Instead of 1,300. Yeah. So it's probably worth it to have a sunshade. You know, if we're gonna go for two hours, and then she said, if I want to pay 1,500, her negotiating tactic was, okay, then we have to bring two other people. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's great. We don't we'll have pay, any we'll, other people. We'll pay 1,600 then, fine. She's like, well, I'm not gonna give you any water. And I was like, we don't want For two oh hours instead of three. She was freaking yeah. harsh haggler. She was. I she thought doesn't even drive the boat or anything. She just comes to haggle with me. Yep. That's hilarious. Time to load up. Yeah.
Woo! Woo! Oh, that was so cool. You see the manatee? Ah, oh, dude, that was awesome. They're huge. I know, that was so cool. That one just like floated there in front of us forever. Like, yeah. hey, take my picture. Yeah. I think he said we go down here towards Belize. Uh -huh. and we go into the river that's the international border. So the guide was just telling us that there's a Santa Fe here underwater. It gets really deep and you can actually scuba down in the cenote all the way to that island over there underneath in a cave system. Super cool. and Belize. air conditioning Oof. that was awesome well spent twenty dollars oh what did we see we saw two manatees tarpon there, some kind of race yeah um turtle. well danny saw a turtle yeah danny saw a turtle we all missed it and then, the just the most yeah. colorful yeah. Girl, the girl most ever. yeah super colorful fishes yeah, or fish so if we thought the way in was an odyssey, the way out might be an even bigger one. <laughs> so far we've turned around a couple times because, um, well, the roads don't go anywhere. <laughs> well, it's funny. That, you can go down that road, it's just that clothesline's blocking. <laughs> <laughs> Take out some ladies' underwear. We decided to come into Mahakalau after Ishkalak because we need, all needed to go to the ATM. We were short on cash and this is like the only one in the entire region. So we came into Mahakalau town 
and we're gonna have a little dinner right by the ocean. So we've met up with Michael, he's from Germany, another band lifer, and so it's gonna be a whole crew this evening. So after the snorkeling and the sun and the, we tired. We are tired, I am wiped out. Yeah, we tired, so we're on bed now. Yep. But that was an awesome day. See you tomorrow. Right there by that square where all those food trucks were. Maybe. That sounds like we came out this morning. Uh, but probably not. I was in the back of the van, so. I don't remember. That part. sounded creepy, but I was. <laughs> they have one with chilies and jalapenos. Do you like chili? Don't you want a hot dog? Don't you wanna wanna hot dog? <laughs> 